Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Peter Barber. I am primarily a professional opera singer, music producer, and of course a bass vocalist. Today we're getting back to really one of my favorite venues and mediums to hear singers perform. This is the Wish 107.5 bus where all these performances are live, which makes the commentary very interesting. Um, this is Bugoy Durlon. He's an, another uh, really talented Filipino singer that I have never heard before, but have gotten a bunch of recommendations since putting out my first Morissette video about six weeks ago at this point or so. This Well, who knows when this when this video that you're watching will be released, but as I'm commenting, it's like six weeks ago. Um, so I'm excited to hear him and hear what he does with this song one day. I do not know the original, which I guess is by Modest Yahoo have not heard it for, so this will be I'm a, I'm a very I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a blank canvas in terms of this song and what to expect and I've never heard Bugoy before so this will be uh interesting and fun and I'm excited all these singers that people have been recommending who come on this wish 1075 bus are mega talented and a lot of fun to comment on analytically uh, speaking of this is a reaction and analysis and analysis everybody so I will be pausing I will be pausing often to talk about vocal technique, <clears throat> a little bit of voice science, other artistic choices they're making, and so on. So if you'd like to watch this video all the way through, I will include a link in the description below, and then you can come back to this one if you'd like to learn a, a, a lot more about what's going on musically and especially what's going on vocally. Um, that's it, guys. Please do like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment for the algorithm. It can be as simple as, hey, Peter, or Bagoy is awesome, or whatever, yay, the Wish 107.5 bus, whatever you want to do. doesn't matter. helps the algorithm. And if I am uh, enhancing your listening experience, if you are learning things, if you are entertained as well as being educated by these videos, please do consider joining my Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Link is in the description below. Without further ado, let's check out Bugoy Julon singing on the Wish Bus. Let's do it. Hello there, Wishers. Um, this is Bugoy Julon. For more Wish exclusive videos, click here to subscribe. A charming smile to get us started. Yeah, okay. Light, um, yes, very talented, I can tell already. Uh, he starts off with this kind of like breathy chest voice and then a flip up into his falsetto. Let's get some pitches here. All right, so I... B3 to an F sharp 4 up into falsetto. And then some really smooth and clean riffing. In a breathy place. So he's allowing air to come through the vocal folds to... Uh, this breathy sound is a more intimate sound. It, it literally means that while the vocal folds are oscillating, there is there is more air coming through. So if you if you if you sing a breathy sound like this, uh, uh, that's a lot of air coming through. Versus if you have really strong vocal fold closure, uh, uh, and also the resulting, which you can't really tell because all this audio is going to be super compressed. The the second one was like ten times louder than the first one. If you have better vocal fold closure, it allows for it creates a louder, more more efficient sound with a lot more higher harmonic content in the sound. I talk a lot about this on my channel, like vocal fold closure and how that contributes to the color of the voice. Right now, Bagoy is adopting a more breathy approach to this song, which I often say is a good place to start a piece because it gives you somewhere to go. You know, if he came out in this first verse, just belting at the top of his chest range, super loud, super 
efficient sound, there'd be nowhere to go in terms of a climax vocally. So it's good to start it in a more breathy, intimate place because it gives you it gives you a place to go to. It gives you uh, it presents an opportunity for contrast. Another one of my favorite words. Wish one oh seven five. Sometimes I like under the moon. I think I don't breathe it. All the way up to an A flat four already, and that sounds pretty easy. Now just Based on his speaking voice in that little intro, it sounds like he's a pretty high tenor. So I bet I bet he's got some wicked high belting notes that we're gonna hear. There are these tiny moments where you can you can you can tell there's a ton of agility in the voice, and 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 he's very accurate and he's very in tune, which I talk about on these live shows. Um, singing singing really well in tune when you've got studio headphones on and you're sitting down, and it's just kind of a it's a weird atmosphere to sing in. Singing is supposed to be done open air, you know, um, you know, especially like for me as an opera singer, like. I do a lot of studio work, especially with a group called The Bass Gang, but the voice should, it's its supposed to be free and open and not record, like it's not naturally meant to go into a microphone with the headphones on, so it's difficult to sing really well in tune with headphones on in this setting, and all these live singers I've watched so far on this stuff, have done a, have, on the bus, have done a great job for it, and Bagoy so far is really singing beautifully in tune. And the other comment I was making is you can tell there's a lot of agility in his voice when he does these tiny little short riffs, kind of like at the end of a phrase, his voice kind of just like goes up and down really fast. That means he's got good agility in his voice, which is which is which is exemplified through riffing, especially. I pray don't take me soon. Soon, soon, soon. Listen on soon, just right at the end of that little phrase. Like he doesn't have to go soon. He could just go soon, but he adds that little riff in there because his voice can do that so easily. I am here for a reason. Sometimes in my tears I drown. Oh wait, I like that little triplet. Just like we're in duple. I love a little duple triple action. Duple essentially means the beats are divided evenly. Bum, 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 bum. If you keep this beat and go to triplets, bup, 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 then they're divided in threes. So divided twos and threes, duple, triple. I'm here for a reason. Sometimes in my tears I drown. But I never let it get me down. So when negativity surrounds, I know someday it'll all turn around because all my life I've been waiting for, I've been praying for, for the people to Wait, I do know this song. I have heard this song. Where did I hear this song? I think there was a popular electronic remix, like an EDM remix of this song years and years ago. But I do recognize this this song now, this chorus. We're waiting for... So that's this is one moment where he's just a hair under pitch on this A flat, which... I'm just pointing this out because it just shows that this whole performance is live and it's not like tuned on the spot, right? Um, that's the only reason I'm pointing that out. Someday, all turn around because all my life I've been waiting for. Just under. Waiting for. He's just a, a hair under that A flat. Oh, someday, all turn around because all my life I've been waiting for. I've been praying for. Got it that time. Nailed it. Say, say. Just like those little riffs throwing in at the end of phrases. Um, it just shows a lot because, you know, most singers would just sing the phrase. They just sing the note. It, Like I said, it just highlights that there is an agility and a skill there and a comfort within the movement of the voice that Bugoy puts on with no issue. We don't want to fight no more. There'll be no more wars. And our children will play one day. One day, 
one day. So you see, is, is he goes up to the day, day. It's a, called a diphthong when you have two, uh, two vowels back to back, essentially. Day, day. And he closes down to the E of that diphthong pretty early when he's going for the high notes, but then he holds out the E part on the on the last repetition of the word. Day, one day. See, day, day. And then like closes it at the end. You don't want to fight no more. There'll be no more wars. And our children will play you. One day, one day, one day. Keeps it open. One day, Same thing. One day, one day. Keeps it open. Start the boat. Win or lose. Cause we win or lose. Win or lose. Again, with a little, a little tiny riff. Not even a riff. You'd call that a neighbor tone. If you go up or down, just one step, that's called a neighbor tone. Start the boat, win or lose, cause we all lose when they feed them. The source that are innocent, blood drenched, baby. Keep on moving though the water stay raging. In this I like some of these little vocal idiosyncrasies he's throwing in there, just like, even in the terms of in terms of like his facial expression, just how he's he's cutting off certain words. Like I think he said the word blood or something and like really cut it off short, kind of add like an intensity to it. Um, there's a, he has a nice relationship with this text. Yeah, blood drenched, blood, dr blood drenched pavement instead of blood drenched, blood drenched. Blood drenched, like really cuts off the word blood super fast. Also, another another little fuck. He puts a little grit uh, just for a split second into one of these sounds. What is he saying here? Let's get these captions on. Souls of the, souls of the. He puts a little grit into the sound. A little grit on the word souls. Win or lose, cause we all lose when they feed them the souls that are innocent, blood drenched, babe. Actually, it's just on of the. Sorry, I'm pausing a lot here. Souls of the. Of the has grit in it. Cause we all lose when they feed them the souls that are innocent, mm. blood drenched, babe. And keep on moving though the water stay raging. In this Enough. maze, you can lose your way. I love his voice, by the way. I think it's a beautiful, a truly beautiful voice. Trench, babe, keep on moving though the water stay raging. Raging. Another little, uh, just like his own artistic thing that he's putting in there. I love it. Adds a little flair to it. Keeps it interesting. In this maze, you can lose your way. Way. I'm, I'm not going to sing that high in chest, but he does a kind of flipped way. <laughs> Way. Yeah, that's really high for me. There's a kind of like flip down uh, from he like f just like kind of goes into into falsetto for a second just as a use of transition to the next note. They raging in this maze, you can lose your way. Ooh, I'm gonna go from way. You way, it might drive you crazy, but don't let her face you no way. Said no way. So then we're getting back into repeat of the chorus here. Um, so we'll see. This is it's fun to come. You know, we'll see if he does anything differently in the second chorus uh, as opposed to the first chorus, because that's often what happens is you got the first chorus and the second chorus is a little more hype. And then the third chorus is super hype. And then you have an outro section where it kind of goes back to the intimacy we felt at the beginning. Get me down, get me down. Negativity surround, surround. I know something. It'll all turn around. Cause all my life I've been waiting for, praying for, for the people yes. to say. Yes, different, different rhythms, slightly uh, different use of the melody. If you compare this delivery of the chorus compared to the first one. He knows what he's doing. He's keeping it, keeping it fresh, keeping it interesting. Surrounds, I know someday it'll all turn around. Cause all my life I've been waiting for, praying for, for the people to say that we 
Actually, very there's actually more variation than I was expecting. Super different. Is that similar? Similar there. It's the same use of the diphthongs. Day, day. De -e -e. Then keeps it open, that open E eh vowel going down. One day, one day, one day. One day is all will change, treat people the same. Stop with the violence, with the dumb, with the hate. One day will I be free, I'm proud to be. Under the same sun, singing song of freedom like fire. Now there is, I've noticed in his voice, there is an inherent, like ever so slight breathiness and grit, even when he's up in his high belt range. Um, so it's not like a super, like if you hear like a musical theater belter, it's like a very, very clean belt. His his belt, what his voice does in the, in his upper chest range is not so clean, but it it's it gives him a unique color to his sound. It gives his voice character. <laughs> One day is all will change, treat people the same. Stop with the violence, with the dumb, with the hate. One day will I be free, I'm proud to be. Under the same sun, singing song of freedom like... Really, and like heart and soul going into this. And, and the text is, is powerful stuff. So like clearly he's really, he connects to this text, to this poetry very, very closely. And it comes through in all these artistic choices he's making vocally to deliver these lines with that feeling of gravity, that that feeling of soul and 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 and, and investment, both emotionally and in an artistic way as well. It's a really really solid performance. I'm proud to be under the same sun, singing song of freedom like fire. A, a flat four to F sharp four or G flat four. Uh, why, uh, why, uh, oh. <laughs> See like a little bit of a little bit of agility there. Uh, why, uh, oh. Yes. All my life I've been waiting for. I've been praying okay. for for the people to say I am. So just removes the text entirely and does his own thing for this first part of this last chorus. More contrast, keep again keeping it, keeping it interesting, doing what probably uh, part of this is probably what he feels right in the moment, part of it is probably planned. That's the thing about a great performer with like pop music or music where you have freedom to make stuff up on the spot is a good performer will prepare everything that they want to prepare, but they'll leave space for, uh, you know, aspects of that performance that they can change based on what they're feeling in the moment. I get that vibe here. Like it's a very well prepared, pre well prepared performance. Woo! That's a tongue twister. Well prepared performance, but there is room for him to experiment and try things in the moment. I've been praying for for the people to say, I am going to Up to the, so he hasn't gone above this A flat four. I'm I I'm interested to see, you know, hit, uh, belting higher than that. What it, what happens? Like that whole, the, that last like ten seconds to me feels like like he's got the formal structure laid out, but a lot of this is improvised based on whatever he's feeling emotionally about this piece in the moment.
Wish exclusive on Wish. And then, as we could anticipate, brings it back to that intimate place after the climax during the third chorus. Very standard. It's it's a formula that works for music. You get first chorus, second chorus is more hype, third chorus is super hype, and then the end of the song, the kind of outro, is similar to the beginning. It's like a, it comes back to home base, basically. Uh, home base, basically. Um, and fine. That's the deal. Sweet. All right, another another wish bus performance down. Bugoy Julon, um, really solid singer. Really like his voice. All I want to hear now is more from him. <laughs> I want to hear what happens when his voice gets above A flat four because um, the range was pretty small in this piece. It was kind of like middle voice to pretty high in his voice, but I don't think it pushed into the extreme. And he didn't do th anything super high in his falsetto. Like the high notes in the falsetto were similar to the high notes in chest voice. And there was nothing super low. So now I want to hear, I know we can riff. I know he can sing super well in tune, super accurate. I know he makes he makes strong artistic choices. Now I just want to hear like, you know, what what his voice can do range wise. So that's what I'll be looking out for the next time I listen to this singer. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something about the voice. I hope you uh, heard things in this performance that you'd never heard before, little things that I pointed out. If you did, if you are finding value in my commentary, please do check out my Patreon. That is the best way to support me as an artist and a creator and a performer um, and an educator. Um, a, a solid chunk of my monthly income comes from Patreon. So that is the absolute best place to support me if I am bringing value to your musical experience, which we all know is so, so, so important. If you think you can live a life without music, try going a week without listening to any music and you'll quickly realize how important it is. So if I can make that part of your life better, if I can enhance that part of your life, that's huge. That's my whole goal here. My goal is like 10 to 15% entertainment and the rest is education and enhancing your, enhancing your experience. So if I'm doing that, please do check out my Patreon. I'd love to see you over there. Join this Patreon family that is growing, growing by the day. Um, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, leave a comment for the, <laughs> comment for the algorithm, all that good stuff. You guys know what to do. Thank you for the support, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you for the next one. Peace.